Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to subtract integers, or positive and negative numbers, uh, with two color counters. So my counters are yellow and red, and I'm going to use yellow for positive one and red for negative one. Um, you should write down a little key in the corner of your page um, to show what you're using, whether it's the same as me or whether it's different. Okay, so when we subtract uh, integers with two color counters, uh, basically what we do is we represent the first number, and then we just try to take away the second number. Sometimes it's really straightforward, and sometimes we have to represent the first number in a different way before we can take it away. So I'll show you a few examples. First we have negative 4, subtract negative 3. So let's start here. We'll put out negative 4, so more reds for negatives. Got negative 4. And I'd like to take away negative 3. So here's my negative 3. I'll just take them right away. And we're done. So that is an example of sometimes it can be quite simple. And I'd like to point out that even though um, both of the numbers we're subtracting here are negatives, that one was quite simple. So that is equal to negative 1. Okay. Uh, let's do another one here. It looks pretty similar. Negative 4, and we're going to subtract positive 3 this time. So I'll put out 4 negatives. And we want to take away or subtract positive 3. So that is, we should maybe just make a note to ourselves. Here what we want to do is remove positive 3 is yellow. So we want to remove 3 yellows. Now, if you look at this, you might think, well, there are no yellows. How are we going to do that? And that's very reasonable. So what that means is we can't remove three yellows from this particular representation of negative four. So we're going to have to represent negative four a different way. And the way we do that is by using zero pairs. So if I add a zero pair here, this is negative one, two, three, negative four, and this is worth zero. So this whole number is still negative 4. So we're actually, this is getting us on the right track here. It would be possible now to remove one yellow, but we'd like to remove three. So what we'll do is we'll just put on another zero pair. So as you do this, I suggest telling yourself, even out loud or under your breath, this is still negative 4. It's really important to remember that it's still negative 4. Sometimes people think, they go through all this and they think they've already done the subtraction. This here is still negative 4 because all of this is worth 0. That's negative 4. Um, and we're doing great now because we have negative 4 and we have 3 yellows in it. So we can remove our 3 yellows. So this is negative 4 and now I'm going to do the subtraction. I'm going to take away my so I'm going to take away my positive 3. So my 3 yellows, I'm going to remove positive 3 here. And now I have done my subtraction. Um, and this is our answer. So our answer is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7. So negative 4 subtract positive 3 is negative 7. So even though these two questions looked pretty similar at first glance, uh, they actually were pretty different in how we went about doing them. OK, let's take a look at another example. Positive 2. And I'd like to subtract positive 5. So here as well, if you look at it, you think, oh, I can't subtract positive 5. Um, I'm not from this representation anyway. And I, just as a suggestion, I'd say you should at least uh, say to yourself, and maybe you should write it down, what you're trying to remove. Here we're trying to remove 5 yellow. And when we do that, that will be the act of subtracting. So in the meantime, what we're going to do here is just representing positive 2 a different way. So I don't have 5 yellows, so I'll use a different representation. So still positive 2 here. Still don't have 5 yellows. That is still positive 2, because this is 0. I still don't have 5 yellows. Getting close, though. That is still positive 2. And now I have five yellows. So now I can do my taking away. I can remove all of these yellows. And 
this is my answer here. So positive 2 subtract positive 5 is equal to negative 3. Alright, excellent.